All right, let's get started today. Today's topic is how to uh, load the magazine and place it in auto, so it will auto index the next, next shot. The first thing you do, get acquainted with this lever. It's the magazine lever. All right, right now it's cocked. The only way to operate this lever is only in uncocked position. That's when you're loading the pellet. It's uncocked. All right. When you load the pellet, this lever has to be up and back. This will clear the mag pin. All right. You put your magazine in. All right. Gradually push forward. When you got the pin aligned with the mag pin, all right, it will go forward. Alright, see this lever here? It's spring loaded. Alright, that little lever goes in its notches on the magazine. That's how it advances it. It catches one of those notch and advances it. Auto position. Alright, it's up and across. You see this lever? This shaft will get longer when it's in auto position. Okay. You go, you push it, you apply pressure up, all the way up, and down. <clears throat> now demonstrate. You get used to the motion. This is the auto position. Up, uh, you press it up, up and across. All right, up and across. Now, you want to put a manual position. And you put your tension on the lever down slightly and down. So down, forward down, and down. This is a manual position. As you know, the lever advances the magazine is not probing out. So you could sit, it does not go in and out. I put an auto position. To put an auto, the lever, the cocking lever has to be open. Push it up, forward. There's a little lever that advances the magazine. Sit. If when you close it, it flips back up. When you're ready to cock the magazine, it comes down. When you pull the lever all the way down, it kind of advances it. Okay. Goes down. It goes up and down. Little finger adjusting the knob of the mag and rotating it, advancing to the next pellet. Okay. In manual position, down. It's not there. So be aware when you want to put an auto, that finger has to latch on the magazine. All right, let's put it in. That's it. I'm not even touching it. It's kind of spring loaded. It just kind of goes in when you got the mag aligned. All right, that shaft will go into it. The way it went in, it went across and down. That's the manual position. You want to put an auto, push it forward, top, I mean up. And across. See the lever starts sticking out? Sometimes it doesn't quite go inside between the two notches. You want to go in between between. You kind of rotate slightly and you see it. It goes in. Yeah. It goes in. Sometimes it doesn't is 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 between the two latch knob right there. It's, it's jam. It's not jam, but it's it's not in a slot, either one. So you need to help it out sometime. It's not the perfect trigger mechanism, but slightly rotate the magazine and it falls into a latch. That's an auto position. Okay. Alright. Now let's open this up and I'll show you how it works inside. To do this, make sure you can see it. This plastic knob right here is threaded. Just unscrew it. And there's two little Phillips flathead screws holding this plate here. One of them is longer than the other. This one I'm removing now. The long one. One back here is a short one. Oh, 
fell in there. Have to get it out. There it is. Now just grab your use your fingernail and it comes out. Alright, I'm gonna remove the mag some more. You can see the the mechanism will work better. Alright. The auto and manual position. Alright. This lever here, your mag lever, I'll pull it back. You can see the two notch I'm talking about. This notch here, the first notch closest to your mag your, your lever is the first notch. That's it auto position. The next notch is your manual position. Alright. Let me push it forward. I'll show you something else. See this Phillips head screw right here? Behind that is acting as a pin. Alright. So this little notches here goes on that uh, align it, trying to align it to those those uh, notches. That's why you lift it forward and down to catch a knot, a, a, a slot. Alright. Now you go all the way forward to catch a first notch and you bring it down to catch a lever, that pin to go in a slot. That's your auto position. All right, you put a manual position, you put your tension down, you go across and down. You'll catch the second notch. You see the first notch right here, not, no pins in there, it's, it's visible. And the pin is on the second notch, is in manual position. It will not advance his finger. His finger will not advance it. It won't go across and advance the trigger. Whatever you do, it's not going to advance because it's in manual position. You want to put it on auto. Got to lift it up off the pin, push it forward, and down on a on a slot. You're in auto position. Whereas in auto, you see there's a little lever here. It's partially sticking out. When the lever is open, it's always there. When you close it, it will go back. Well, when you're cocking position, you always go like this. It, it's flicking. I mean, it, it, when you flick it like this, it advances to the next, it'll advance the magazine. When you close it, it'll retract back. See? Push forward, and it'll go down. See, it's going in and out. The lever is in and out. Alright? That's the most important thing, is this lever. How to put those slots into this pin. If you with the cover off, you actually see those slots. It is piece of cake when you see those slots. Get get used to the motion. How to put it on the slots? You know when you're used to it. How to put it on a slot? With the cover back on, you have no problem putting it in auto or manual. We'll put it back together. Cover back. Plastic knob. And with the cover on, you should know. Lift it up, down, auto. Down, across and down is a manual, it's not sticking out. Up, down is an auto. Up and down is auto. Across and down, manual. Oops. Okay. Across and down, manual. You, all right, put the tension up, across, auto. Up, across, and down is auto. See this finger here? Put the load the magazine. Alright. Sometime, most of the time you're not, you know, paying attention. You're not holding the knob. Magazine knob. It will automatically go to the manual position. So, m most people think, how come it's not advancing? Because it's in manual position. If you're not playing, if you're not have tension with this knob when you close it in, all right. When you, when you got the pin aligned, 
or push pressure up and all the way till it stops. If it doesn't stop, you look at this little finger, make sure it goes into a slot. If it doesn't go to slot, it may get off auto. All right? You see the little slot is in the magazine. Well, I, what I do sometimes also, I do counter, I rotate it the magazine counterclockwise as soon as the lever close slightly see it it goes like that it moves I close the mag the lever and you're good to go it's in auto position all right up and cross auto position auto down forward up down you see the little knob is in I don't have to rotate the magazine I know the shaft is there I'm in auto position you know after 50 or so whatever it takes to get the hang of the motion here I have to get that slot into the right the, the pin which slot what goes where all right you know, I don't know if I covered it but manual position sometimes I, I use it for hunting all right in manual position I got it down I know it's not there I could free rotate this it doesn't advance the cock the lever all right I cock it I'm ready to shoot my prey suddenly I don't have a shot it ran off but I don't want to leave the gun on cock I mean cocked it will weaken the spring over time plus there's no safety I don't want to cock so I want to uncock it without advancing a pellet what I do is I cock it and hold my finger in there because when I pull the trigger the resistance of the spring will put this lever forward so I don't want to slam the lever just yeah, close it it was not going to dance it because in auto position as soon as you load it it will advance the next slot I mean next pellet so you have tendency to double load it all right when you're in manual position you have a shot Open it, I mean cock it, close it, take your shot. If you lose your shot, open it, shoot. It's uncocked. Alright, but there is a pellet in there. So you gotta know, when you take that shot, you just cock it, close it, take your shot. That's manual. I use that for hunting. For plinking, target shooting, I use the auto position. Alright, I hope that helps. Have a good day.